אחת מיוחדת שכאן. Anybody on TikTok have a question? Especially from the Wahhabis? Too many. Too many, no way. Oh, there's made up, but I enjoy soccer. Yeah. As-salamu alaykum, Shaykh. Wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullah. Does arrogance have a smell in spirituality? Very How can one get rid of deeply rooted <laughs> arrogance? <laughs> it's a good question, yeah. Every bad action has a horrific smell and the dead, their smell is not tolerable. And I don't know if you've noticed that animals don't go to graveyards. because of the, the sounds emitted from that area. I saw a, a nice tick-tock of a parrot that ah, very talkative and the individual took the parrot to the grave. It was screaming, the whole time screaming because it was imitate sounds but it was being traumatized by what it's hearing of difficulties within the grave. That's why when you go to graves you don't see animals just roaming because they hear and they smell. The, the smell that's being emitted and the sounds that are, are, are emanating is not uh, very tranquil except if you go to Madinat al-Munawwara and you go to Jannat al-Baqid then graves of holy places then immense all the birds come. The birds are the first ones that can hear. And they come because of the peace and because of the, the goodness and the immense lights and blessings. But bad actions have a fragrance and we have talks on that on the website about fragrance. And the fragrance, fragrancing of oneself, putting perfume on oneself for men is because of that angelic reality that what they understood of, a, of a aromatherapy is actually angelic realities, that the fragrance is so important and it is the way in which to bring about angelic realities. We say that the prayer of external people is through their tongue. So they make du'a to Allah through their tongue. But the prayer of pious people is the reality of the bukhur. That if the heart of the believer is lit like a fire with Divine love then immense they just put their heart in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Into a, into a prayer, they don't have to even mention it by tongue. The heart will, will emit a liquid like a fragrance and that fragrance hits their burning heart and emits an immense fragrance that the angels take that fragrance to the Divinely Presence. So it means the reality of, of their prayers is because of the sincerity of heart, that the heart is burning with a Divine love and as soon as they're requesting in their khafi they don't have to even move their lips, the, the, the fragrance that drops upon the heart, the angels are taking that fragrance is like the sign of their sincerity. That's something different being emitted in Divine the Presence. The prayer of one by tongue is if, because Allah describes in Qur'an that when they come to us, I will seal their mouth and ask their hands what they did. So it means that the tongue and mouth, people understand that their mouth can say anything they want but it's the sincerity of the heart that's important. So fragrance is immense, bukhurs and atars that the men use or bukhur for both 
can put into their home is to create an angelic energy because the aroma, the fragrance that the angels are coming and enjoying these clean fragrances that one, they wash out the negative and the negative energies and as a result they come and it lends for them to be present in that environment. And then from the unseen world of the jinn they're also based on fragrance. The bad and malevolent they come towards the bad smells, the trash, the garbages, bad and, and forbidden fragrances. They are and that's their sustenance. And then the mu'min, they come towards what Allah prefers of the holy fragrances. So anytime we're using fragrances and smells has a tremendous reality on energy. If that's the external then imagine the internal. Bad actions emit a bad fragrance and those are the actions that have to be washed and cleansed and asked for forgiveness. When the person is busy with themselves and trying to clean their reality, they understand those bad actions and that they make forgiveness, tawbah, they're asking continuously for Divine forgiveness, asking Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. All their zikrs are cleansing that bad action so that not to emit that fragrance. But those whom pass without that level of purity then the, the stench of their actions are what makes the graves intolerable to attend. So then they go that fragrance is coming from them. And those whom have a, a lighter spirituality may even see those whom passed away. And when they come near them the smell that they have of bad actions is again very difficult to tolerate. So the, the reality of bukhur and, and atar and fragrances is that you fragrance yourself to cover these bad actions, bad character until we can reach a state of our ritual purity and internal purity which will be the great purifier and cleanser that the internal actions that cleanse the system so that we emit a beautific fragrance. So many times people are meditating and contemplating and when awliyaullah are present and pious souls are present, the fragrance of rose and amber and sandalwood, these Divinely known fragrances is their soul and their soul is present and an immense smell of roses. Why rose? Because it's called Gula Muhammadi, that these are Muhammadiyuns and big ashiqeen, their entire wujud is this rose fragrance. That if they come present in that environment that fragrance is emitted and people smell this beautific smell emanating. So the opening of the sense of smell and the subtlety of each sense and the sense of smell is important in reaching the angelic reality and angelic power. And that's why when they become sensitive to smell they can't tolerate the bad actions and, and environments of, of people whom are committing bad actions. And so they lend themselves back to where the circles of paradise and, and good actions are being performed. But definitely the, the smell is, is extremely important, the cleansing of smell, the cleansing of actions and the reality of smell. And that's very dear to Prophet that the, the reality of uh, fragrance and, and fragrancing oneself because it has to do with angelic uh, healing and angelic realities, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Ya Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah How does energy within us play a role in us earning our rizq and paying debts? Please forgive my ignorance. Alhamdulillah that the energy within us is the secret to everything. This is the one <coughs> who focuses outside and tries to conquer the world outside. Become like a, a bear always hunting and begin to spend all their time in their state of hunting, 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 looking, where am I going to get my money, where am I going to get money? They become so busy and distracted from their heavenly goal. And that's not what God wanted for us. But that's the result of following one's bad desires. Your sustenance will become farther from you. And that's shaitan's role on this earth is test them if they should fall into that badness then they have to walk further for their sustenance. And then shaitan tests them again, 
they have to walk further for their sustenance. But the way that it is ideal that Allah wanted for us is that, remember me and I'll sustain you. So that be like a spider and not like a bear. The spider busies itself with this beautific action, it builds this beautific home that we've described many times is architecturally a masterpiece. And all it does is spend its time in its building of the house, means build your zikr, build your relationship with your Lord, do your meditation, do your practices. When you build that inner reality, what does Allah do? Because there are animals that are busy hunting and then there's an animal that is busy building. He builds this relationship and Allah sends a fly. And if it doesn't do the awrad correctly, doesn't do its practices correctly, what happens? The fly goes through the hole in the web. So then this has a great reality for Sufi students to understand. Because that, that same spider web was guarding the cave to the presence of Prophet when the people of Mecca were searching to harm him. And the people of the cave and the reality of the cave and each incident in the issue of the cave has a tremendous reality in our own reality. So awliyaullah come into our life and say, be like the spider. Build something beautiful for Allah which is what? The zikr, the awrah, the meditation and the character. If I busy my time making sure those things are done, Allah said, don't worry I'll send you a fly for that day. You're not going to go into a bad condition because Allah's happy with you. Then when you res- read what Prophet gave for us in the, in the wazifas for fajr, SubhanAllah bihamdi, SubhanAllah azeem, astaghfirullah. When you read those, Prophet in the fiqr of salah describes that anyone who reads that in the morning time, a hundred obstacles will be taken from them for that day. That's why the shaykhs give us, that, hey recite this at the fajr time, recite this at zuhr, recite this at Salat al Isha. Why? Because their, their powers and blessings and du'as that they achieve through their life, their lineage and their connection to Sayyidina Muhammad when we recite them, then our rizq is flowing, Allah's rida is satisfaction, Allah's happiness is upon the soul of that servant. And many difficulties are taken and many openings that Allah sends for the servant. Then we described before then, if you become a custodian of Divinely knowledges that when the shaykhs are speaking and teaching, these are not ordinary subjects. And they have the ability to change your entire destiny with just a few words. Why? Because you come and say, oh my destiny was every day I go to work, I have a coffee, I go to my job and I sit down. So you clearly know your destiny was what? You just went to work, you had coffee, you do some couple things, watch some movies, some good, some inappropriate and that would be your life all the way into the grave. But all of a sudden Allah's of a destiny don't go sit with Him. And as soon as you sit, he speaks a reality that you've never heard. Means immediately from that reality he changed your entire destiny just with the sentence. Because you heard it, it's been dressed upon you, your soul immediately goes at night and asks God, not your body, your body says, I don't know, care what that bearded guy said, I don't like it at all. But the soul is truth, it goes up at night and said, I heard something amazing. Because it's, it's like a camel that has not had any access to water, just Starbucks office, Starbucks office and so I didn't hear anything all my life on this earth. But this, oh Allah please let me to understand this because the soul is the truth, not the body. The body is the one keeping the, that person into ignorance. But the soul hears it and Allah's replies, if you heard it, now swim in the ocean of that reality. And that soul goes and every night will go into that reality. And that's the power of Divinely knowledge versus earthly actions. When we sit in the company of Divinely knowledge, every letter and word that being said is for the soul. And the soul heard, what? This reality of water? This what? 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 And then goes into Divinely presence and ask Allah, I want to swim in that ocean of that reality. Allah's reply is generous, go, go for you. If you heard it, 
you have access to it. If you have not heard it, you have no access to it. So Divine Grace is when Allah gives us access to these realities. Now imagine your soul is swimming in oceans it never swam in. Well of course then now it has a different station in its realities. As a result of the medallions and the lights and the blessings the soul has achieved, it begins now to inspire the physical body. That's when we talked before, your higher consciousness, the soul that is always in God's presence is the one who's playing you, you're the avatar. You're the video game for him, that he's in the heavens and he was supposed to be playing you correctly. Go left, go right, pray, do this, do this. When you lose communication with your reality, you're like cut from your identity. So you have the lower consciousness, subconsciousness, higher consciousness is what they call it. But you have a light from your soul, not in its entirety. And the greater light that's always in Allah's presence because He won't give it to you to destroy. The greater one is supposed to be guiding you, inspiring you. But when we lose the concept of inspiration, don't check in, become busy with devices and life and everything that shaitan puts for us as this game on this earth, then we become disconnected. But in just two sentences there can be a reconnection because now the soul hurts something. It connects back into that energy and now the soul, the greater soul is being dressed by realities it could have never imagined. And as a result begins to inspire back that, go listen again, now go like this. And as the soul is now being dressed by heavenly realities, of course now the sustenance to sustain that person is not the same. That the gas you use for your Toyota is not the gas that you use for your Formula One racing car. It has a different sustenance, it means the soul of a heavenly reality is going to require a completely different set of angels and a completely different set of realities and sustenance because the sustenance of the soul is what controlling the sustenance of your body. If your sustenance of the soul is weak and poor then difficulty to the body. But when the sustenance is in the fountain of abundance on the soul, flowing in zikr, flowing in realities, then it sends that abundance to the physical location. So better than running around in the market and hunting and hunting is then to worship Allah meditate, contemplate that Allah is happy. As a result of being happy, then Allah dresses the soul from its realities and its sustenance inshaAllah. <coughs> As salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Sayyidi. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullah. Can you please explain the wisdom when there is a, a loss of a baby or at birth? Or loss at birth. Loss at birth. <clears throat> Hear that the people whom suffer loss and and Allah make it to be easy for them and the, the sadness of that loss but everything has a hikmah and a wisdom that these realities of, of souls that come into, the, into this world but for a short time, that they have a, a reality of churubin. Allah did not destine for that soul to live too long and become contaminated upon this earth. And certain families are destined for that reality, that they're granted from this churubin, that they came and briefly and they left this earth or they came within the womb briefly and they left this earth. These are from the haqqaiqs and the reality of the churubin. That Sayyidina Ibrahim salam, one of his responsibilities is the safeguard and companionship of churubin. And that's why Prophet wanted for us to make salawat al Ibrahimiyyah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa la Ali Sayyidina Ibrahim salam. Why? So that we can be granted from this reality of churubins. He watches over them and the station of churubin that they're so highly purified that when Allah grants them to families 
they intercede for every action of the family while they're on earth. Means that, that should have been is continuously praying for my mother and my father, my mother and my father, that through all the difficulties they're facing in life, that should have been from that reality and that station is praying for the parents. Means more than a child Allah wanted for them to have a means of intercession for their physical life and for their spiritual life. Allah has the greatest of hikmah. Allah doesn't want harm for, for people but He wants to give them the best of what He has for them and in certain cases this is best for them. If they have patience to wait and understand there's an immense hikmah in it. And awliyaullah come and begin to describe that hikmah that you are in need of, of a means of intercession and Allah opened it by that means and destined that soul to be given to you for that short period of time. But as a result now that soul is continuously interceding for you and praying for the parents who are on earth and the difficulties and sadness that they face. So alhamdulillah Allah is great and always wants the best for His creation, inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum uh, Shaykh Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Shaykh, I'd like to know of the effect of music on one's spirituality and when is the daf allowed to be played? We have the talks on sound <clears throat> that, that, that question is, is, is more than that question. So the reality of sound is one answer, so you would go to nurmuhammad.com and understand the reality of sound. And allowability is a different question where we know where those people ask that kind of question from. So this is a play on words. Music is not allowed. So that can be proven by the reality of the talks on sound. So what Prophet wanted for us is a higher vibration, that's why. So it's haqqaiq and it's reality is that you have to emanate at a higher vibration. And when you make zikr and listen to beautific nasheeds, beautific salawats, Qur'an, everything beautific that we don't classify as music because music is like heavy metal, is like these rap things. These are not hamd, they are not praisings, they are not anything that glorifies the di Divine nor warms the heart to think of the Divine, those are not called music, those are called praisings. But there is a madhab that wants to play with every word so that just to make people agitated. Riba is not what they say it is, it's usury and loan sharking. Music is a cacophonous sound like jazz that will destroy your vibration because it's made to agitate your heart, your entire being, like rap, like heavy metal. They even acknowledge it, once they acknowledge it, that's like we said the warning on your cigarette pack, but it came out and says, this will cause you, can you go to Allah and say, now I didn't know shaitan did this to me? He said, no, it says it's going to kill you on the pack because shaitan doesn't want any problem with God. So he says, I'll put the warning on it, so now they released those songs are actually recorded at a certain frequency to agitate your heart. And the purified frequency is illegal and they had a counsel in which to not allow sound to be recorded at the beneficial frequency that brings about a spiritual awakening. There are sounds that bring spiritual awakenings. So no, so now when they acknowledge that that sound is actually demonic will lower your vibration because you're vibrating, you're emanating based on your vibration, this is all scientific, your form 
is only in existence because of the sound that's coming from you is making an energy, is making a light, that light is manifesting and creating a form. Shaitan knows this formula, so if I want to destroy your form let me go back, I can't get your light yet, let me go back to your energy, now your vibration. I can start to vibrate a sound to you that will destroy your light so you're no longer luminous, you're becoming darkened. You hear more of it, you hear more of it, you hear more of it and now I'm going to corrupt your form. He knows the system, they militarize that, right? So they have devices now, they point at the building and it comes crumbling down and it was in the Bible. Oh, what? You have the shofar, the trumpet and Jericho's trumpet and Allah has in Qur'an, it's but one shout, means the importance of sound. That sound is immensely powerful, shaitan knows that. So he's going to use the sounds to destroy people, destroy their heart, lower their vibration, why? So they can become possessed. If you lower somebody's vibration they can easily become insane and possessed and overtaken by very bad and negative energies. But what's the remedy to that? Raise the vibration. That's why the circles of paradise that Prophet described, go and do your zikr. As soon as you sit for zikr, make your salawats, recite Qur'an, what happens? The vibration is, is no longer earthly, it's angelic. And what Allah said, say to when the truth comes the falsehood perishes and falsehood by its nature zahukan is crumbling. The truth is the higher vibration. If a truth comes, an angelic reality comes, angelic praising comes, the truth and false they don't sit in the same place. As soon as we stu- start doing zikr, the devils are not sitting with us and doing zikr, they're running because they can't take the energy. But you go to a rap concert, the devils are right there and that's why they call six people and nine people to be killed. But when you're doing positive actions, the devils and falsehood have to go and as a result you rise and your vibration rises, your energy rises. And the whole of this life is about how to raise the vibration and the whole of the dunya is on how to lower your vibration because that's the system. They don't want the higher vibration, they want the lower vibration. So this is the, the game that's being played. Music not allowed, praising and divine, Allah in Qur'an is describing, يُسَبِّهُ hamdi. For verily everything is in hamdi, is in praise. You too pray too, you also make hamd. But to listen to sounds that destroy the heart, destroy the body, destroy the being, then be careful. It's not something that's good and positive for you. It will lower your frequency, lower your energy and cause all sorts of difficulties and sicknesses. Healing before was done by sound. Moving of large stones and devices was done by sound. The emanation of sound on certain rocks, on certain minerals causes different effects. But that knowledge lost now. So definitely sound is immensely important and immensely important for our spirituality. The one who knows that reality then can improve themselves and can choose to heal themselves. If you want to be healed and you want to elevate then begin to make positive sounds, accompany positive sounds, listen to the positive frequencies which are the Qur'ans, the salawat, the zikrs, these praisings. We said before they know it so well that the language is contrived of spells, right? The language is made up of spells upon people. Divinely and religious language is not. As salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I will greet somebody with peace and blessings and God's mercy and rahmah be upon you versus hello, oh hell, 
So you already sent an energy onto that person. So no, no, we went through that in all the talks on, right? Those, that, those are deep, the, the kids love those, those understandings. The sentences, when, when you put out one whole sentence together on how, how dangerous that, that energy is that they're emitting, that you, you, you hire a, a liar to put you into a contract. And a tract is a way and a con is a lie. And the only purpose for their contract is to lie to the person in what you're about to engage them with. And you have to hire a liar to write it in a way that he won't know that I'm conning him. Right? It's not Islamic, Islamic is just the terms. You're going to do what? Duh. I'm going to do what? Sign, that's it. There's, there's no verbiage in here that I'm going to con you. So it means all these letters, these words, because shaitan has to make full disclosure. He's scared of Allah. So he makes full disclosure, Ya Rabbi, I don't know what they're talking about. I told them it's a contract. It's a con, they know the, the language. Right? So, yeah. As soon as people wake up and understand, then they understand the importance of sound, they understand the importance of giving salams to people and putting out good energy and expecting good energy back. And the immensity of that importance that it nourishes our entire being, that which you focus on changes your ability to manifest. If somebody keeps saying that you're like this, you will manifest that because you have that power. If you think that you're filled with love, love for the Divine, love for Divine Grace, you will manifest that Divine Love because Allah gave humans this power of manifestation. So all of this is immensely powerful in people understanding their spirituality and their spiritual ability. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ila sharaf al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi wa fi tariqat nashbandiyyat al-aliyya wa sayr wa saadatina wa sidaqeen al-fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.